watch the news anymore. Do you want to know why I don't give a shit what Illuminati celebrities are talking about or saying the world's going to end? Or Do you want to know why I don't really give a shit if Russia attacked us or if we pissed Russia off or if, we, or if there are terrorists somewhere? This is the reason. Ever since and probably before, <laughs> 66 AD, people have been guessing when the world is going to end. They've been having false flags. Look how far this list goes down. <laughs> Future dates. 2020. Gene Dixon claimed that Armageddon would take place in 2020 and Jesus will return to defeat the unholy trinity of the anti- Oh my god, I can't even keep reading that. See, what I'm mostly trying to say is all the shit you see in the news is bullshit. It is. It's to scare you so you don't have a full life. They want to make you scared. So one, you don't ask questions. Two, you become paranoid. And three, you become scared. You become scared to do the things that you want to do. You become scared to become rich. You become scared to... Too scared to do the things you want to do. So instead, you keep looking up all this shit that's happening in the news, which makes you more paranoid and makes you less and less likely to succeed in life and to hide. List of dates predicted for apocalyptic events. If this has been happening since 66 AD and probably before, it's not going to happen. The Bible is a book. It's a book. And the only reason the things in the Bible are happening is because someone knew, someone knew a pole shift was going to happen. They wrote a Bible. Some people changed it a bit and more and, and more and more and more and more. What I'm saying is people need to stop fucking being so paranoid. I was that way. I, I really was. I was paranoid. But the world is not going to end. My friend, my, one of my closest friends, always tells me things about the Bible. But um, what, what I did wonder, since a lot of the things in the Bible have happened in real life, like nowadays, mostly because of well, the pole shift, um, is in the Bible. I'm not religious in any way. I never will be. And what I think by what Judgment Day talks about is honestly the end, the end of this era and the beginning of a new one. Like... The pole shift is changing this era into a new one. Was it Judgment Day or was it? It's one of the apocalyptic things in the Bible. The end times, that's it. The end times. The end times of now and the beginning of a new. That's what I see it as. And that's the thing about the Bible is that you can interpret it any way you want, and it's purposely made that way. So you can read something, and it can mean something to you, but not mean the same thing to another person. That way you two fight, argue, and conflict arises, which distracts the people. That's the point. But people who go to church, and people who just go to, like, uh, get-togethers and stuff for church, that's not religion. That isn't. It's people being in the same room who have the same, that read the same book and uh, having fun together, which you can do without a book. You can have fun and be nice to other people without needing a book as a middleman. Just putting that out there. It's true. But. <laughs> Oh, God. If I have any religious subscribers, I'm not saying 
you can't like the Bible. You can like whatever you want to like. I'm just giving my two cents of this subject. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah. What should I name this? Um... Religion is goofy.